Okay, so uh, we are officially in Georgetown, Guyana. Um, I don't know if you guys can see behind me. That's the uh, background. Um, we are uh, we're, we're in the outskirts of the city, so everything this way is all Georgetown. Uh, we landed last night real late. Um, I want to say about 2.30, maybe 3 o'clock. And uh, so we got off the uh, runway. And um, it was real dreamlike because, you know, I, I'd imagine what it would be like when I finally got here. And it was like I was like I was walking in that dream. It was a real strange feeling, actually. Um, but no, we got there, got through customs, everything went fine. We got uh, someone to pick us up. We took her took her ride down to the uh, the airport. Um, and the whole ride down, it's funny, The it wasn't the sights that I was seeing that was causing my memory to go, was, uh, was the smells. I guess they say uh, scent is the strongest sense tied into memory, something like that, or smell is. Um, and uh, it was, it's absolutely true because I was smelling things that were bringing back so many memories, you know, as opposed to what I was seeing. Um, so we got here, and it was a you know it was a really nervous feeling for me. I, I felt like I was about to go and play a game and either win or something. Um, just that nervousness, the anxiousness, I, I think it was. Uh, so we got here, got in late, um, got about four hours sleep because we had to get up early the next day because we we're gonna head to the hospital and just kind of get the whole project started. You know, waste don't waste any time. Um, but the way we had things planned, uh, Thursday was supposed to be, Thursday today was supposed to be a, a pretty low key day. Um, we were going to go there, visit the hospital, meet with Dr. Um, Dan Rambaran. He's one of our main contacts here and, uh, then do some information exchange, um, change some contacts, drop off some supplies that we brought and, uh, set things up for Friday. Friday was supposed to be a much bigger day, much more important day. It's the official opening of the, um, NICU, which is the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. That's the project that Dr. Singh was working on, um, or has been working on for quite some time. Uh, I want to say about two years now he's been working on it, and you know, uh, that was what was going to be officially opened yesterday, and that's where the, I mean tomorrow, that's uh, what's supposed to be open up tomorrow, and that's where, you know, the, the officials are supposed to be there, the CEO of the hospital, the Minister of Health, the, uh, the President was supposed to be there, and, um, I guess a lot of media people were, there, were going to be there for the whole ribbon cutting ceremony and all that, all that jazz. Uh, but then we 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 heard um, that the president wasn't going to be able to make it because, you know, as presidents go, they their their time gets caught up and they get too busy. Um, so we found out that his his uh, uh, his wife's going to be there. The first lady was going to be there, which is also just as great. Um, so that's what we kind of had planned for uh, Friday. Uh, and then this morning, so we get up, and uh, myself, and my father, and Dr. Singh are having breakfast. Dr. Singh's a very informal guy, um, very, very personable. Uh, you know, you never know that he's done all the stuff that he's done. So we're in, so we're sitting there having breakfast, and he and he gets a phone call, and he gets real serious, real, real business-like, and I can tell it's a pretty important phone call. So I did the uh, the best thing I thought I could at the time. I got up and got some cereal. Let the man be, and. Um, so I come back and then he tells me, oh, Ryan, go uh, go get your tie. For what? I'm, okay, I mean, I'll go get my tie, but why? Uh, he says the president is, we're going to meet the president in about 20 minutes. Uh, so the president's driver comes, picks us up. Um, this is after my excitement cools. <laughs> and uh, we we drive to the, uh, to the president's, you know, I guess the presidential estate, if you want to call it. And there's a guy in front. I, th I, th I thought this was pretty funny. Uh, there's a guy in front in the uniform, and it's a little bit different than you know pulling up to any sort of other official thing that I've ever been to because he's walking around back and forth with a what looks like an AK-47, this enormous, enormous machine gun, and I don't know what that looks like because I play a lot of Call of Duty. Um, but yeah, it was, so uh, we pull up there and they let us in and we get to the front and they take away our, our cameras and our cell phones and anything we could use to take photographs and uh, which kind of sucked because we wanted to do a lot of documenting of that but I guess they had someone someone there, their own media person there doing all the documenting. Um, so we got to meet the president and uh, he was a real pleasant fellow, um, real kind guy like I said also, also very very personal, uh, personable and um, we told him about what we're doing in the whole with the whole project, and 
he lent his support to it, which is something that you think would happen naturally, but um, it's not always the case. And for him to do that, uh, it's it's real big for the whole project because now uh, anywhere we go uh, in the country, you know, we have the presence support behind us. Um, and so <laughs> to thank him, <laughs> we gave him a Thai cat hat. Uh, <laughs> you know, around the same time kind of thing. Uh, so we so we gave him a Thai cat hat. So Thai cats now are officially uh, intercontinental. Uh, I thought that's very funny. Um, so after we left the president's place, we went back to the uh, <clears throat> we went back to the hospital um, where uh, we met with Dr. Uh, Madan Ramaran and um, figured out there were a lot of important uh, decisions to be made tomorrow. And we set all those up, and all the right people are going to be there. Um, and then after that, Dr. Singh gives a brief tour around the hospital. Uh, we focus more on the uh, NICU that's going to open tomorrow, and you know it's. It's interesting when you take a look at the NICU, that's been bits that's been uh, revamped compared to the rest of the hospital. Uh, you can see the difference of you know where you want things to be and then where it is now. Um, so we did a lot of stuff today. Uh, I took a lot of footage of that today, um, and we got a lot accomplished today, uh, hospital-wise. Um, after we finished that, it was probably around 2:30 or so, and. We had my, my, myself and my father had some free time, and uh, we went to my old school where immediately I felt like Andre the Giant. Like I was just enormous because everything was just so small, like I could just look at it and just crush it with my fingers. Um, I remember there was this water fountain, which is, wasn't really like a water fountain that you would, ex that you would you know, recognize, it's more just a circular uh, area with a bunch of taps coming out, so we used to drink water, but I, but I remember I used to reach up, I have to really lean over to get a drink of water. And now I walk to it and it was literally underneath my knees. I just felt enormous, which is rare, but, I, but it was good. Um, but we met a lot of the teachers. We told them what we're doing and uh, what we intend to do here. And we're gonna go back tomorrow um, with, for a more official, um, more official visit. Uh, but that was a lot of fun today. Um, we got a lot done. A really productive first 24 hours. Um, and hopefully we'll keep on that pace going and things will be, things will flow just like it did today. Um, I feel a little bit disconnected not having to be able to use my phone. Uh, I don't really know what's going on back, back home, but, uh, hopefully not too much. Um, I, I already feel like I've been here for about a week. Today was just a long day, but, uh, it's only the first day and we've got a lot more to do. So, uh, thanks again and, uh, I'll be blocking soon.